Oh, and welcome to the Simcast Studio tutorial video. And this part of the tutorial video is on live streaming. Now, live streaming is in streaming to some sort of server, um, like YouTube, Twitch, Ustream, or whatever the case may be. Maybe your own video streaming server or some other uh, streaming provider that you're using. So, this particular section down here is our streaming section. Uh, to use it, well, it's quite similar to recording. We pick our audio inputs. Uh, this is the sound that will be streamed, but on the virtual audio capture, it's going to be your um, sound card. Whatever's coming out of your sound card output, uh, basically what you hear on your PC, is what's going to be streamed. So, um, just on the virtual audio capture, if you look at the installation notes on Simcast Studio, or even Simcast Broadcast, um, you'll clearly see um, that for non-compatible or basic audio cards by installing the virtual audio capture um, it basically corrects the problem it, it knows what to do and it appears in Simcast Studio as a audio impulse. Here we've got the stream button uh, simply clicking it starts the live streaming and we have the time elapsed. Um, so uh, basically um, we have a couple of settings here. Obviously, for any streaming site, you've got to set up a few things. And the first thing is a streaming site. Uh, you can alternate between them. And settings will change according to what you have laid out um, for your uh, particular uh, provider for streaming. Here we've got the stream video size, the screen size. And again, this will be dependent on pretty much uh, your PC, its ability to processor, memory, etc., and what you're going to choose and what your provider allows. So, when we select a particular screen size, we can see we get a little bit of recommendation in our video bitrate for kilobits per second. And uh, it's kind of handy, um, kind of a, a guide range that you should be in or for it to work pretty good. Uh, here we've got the frame rate, which is the frame rate that you're going to stream as. We've got your audio bit rate, and we've got your video bit rate, uh, kilobits per second. And we've got your threads, which is your CPU core threads, and zero means use all the threads. Here we've got a little bit of a pixel format change. And we've got three types here. Um, basically, you should change this if you go to your streaming site and you have a black screen. Um, by changing to one of the other two remaining most likely will correct your problem. So the stuff here, my keyframe interval, profile and levels. These settings are only um, implemented when you check this use additional settings uh, check mark. And this really should be only done by people who know what to do. So some server providers might say they want so many keyframes. Um, this is your profile for FFmpeg and this is your levels that it should be asked but really you shouldn't use it unless you need to or know what you're doing uh, the url is the url of the, the stream provider gave to you for example youtube then they give you a key in youtube's case it's just a key of some description is put in and you simply click the save connection uh, f uh, that is going to connect to uh, some require username and password as well as your URL and your key and it is even possible um, to put the whole thing in just the URL. So they're basically the settings and setting up a live stream. Now obviously I didn't put in the real password there um, so I'm not sure what will happen here when I press this uh, stream button but basically it's trying to stream to the size and it's given the elapsed time of the stream taking place. Um, so it really depends on the the stream site that you're going to use. There are small variations between them. Some of them require more stringent security and some of them do not. A key is more than adequate for them. So uh, we have tested on the main sites that we saw there and there's been no issues with it streaming and has streamed quite successfully and well. And we're quite happy um, using a reasonably good PC and broadband speed of 100 megabits per second so it's not too bad so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video on streaming 
in Simcast Studio. And again, it's the exact same thing for uh, Simcast Broadcast. So, uh, thank you for watching. www.simtouch.eu is the website if you need to get full information on this. And goodbye for now.